I accepted you. Your father never would have. Yes, he would have. If you only got the chance to meet Devin. Oh, that is so gay. The Curse and Cult of Chucky were pretty, pretty weird Chucky movies, but for what it's worth, I was a big fan of Chucky. Like, I, I still am. I love Chucky. He's a great character. Chucky has, you know, been around since the late 80s, and, you know, w between the Child's Play trequel and, you know, Bride and Seed of Chucky when they had their weird, you know, kid... Um, and, you know, down to Curse and Cult with him being able to, like, split his soul like an atom. I mean, it, uh, the franchise did get a little bonkers, but it was fun. Like, it was a, it was a great show, and, I mean, it was a great, um, it was a great franchise, and it was a great run of Chucky, so, you know, when the the reboot came out in 2019 i was excited i was like oh this is gonna be cool and like mark hamill playing the role as chucky i was like this whatever like all right let's do it um and you know it tanked i i personally didn't like it because it wasn't chucky it was literally uh you know baby terminator because it was like an ai gone rogue in the form of a good guy doll or whatever it was it wasn't even a good guy doll so it turned out meanwhile the writer and creator of chucky of this of the franchise don mancini he was actually working on a tv show and apparently you know uh he was supposed to make a movie with brad dorif reprising his role as the voice of chucky um and i, I didn't even know his daughter is fiona dorif he she's the one that's uh that plays um what's her name uh Nika Pierce from the Cursing Cult of Chucky, the paraplegic. So I didn't even know that that was his daughter. So that was cool. But they were supposed to make a movie and then apparently they like it got canceled or something happened. And then they ended up switching gears to a TV show. So that's why I'm I'm assuming the, the reboot sucked so much because they couldn't follow the actual story of Chucky. They said it was like a reboot and a remake. It rolled into one and it's like, nah, it was shit. Like it was just not Chucky. It was baby terminator but in the present day so it made no sense so with the tv show i was i was like all right i'm excited like let's see how it, like, how they're able to stretch it out into episodes like obviously he's gonna have to kill someone each episode like hopefully it's good and you know i did like the show i'll say i liked it but for the chucky moments of course but at the same time man chucky was a real manipulator in this in this series it was crazy um but this show follows uh jake wheeler uh, this kid, and he ends up finding Chucky at a yard sale, so random of all places, I would have rather seen the show, like, show how exactly he led up to being at a yard sale, like, it was so random, but he's being sold, sold at this yard sale, and the lady's like, oh, yeah, whatever, so, you know, Jake buys him, and, uh, of course, you know, you find out that Jake is kind of, like, closetedly gay, and just, like, a, like, a loner, and, like, a weird kid, and people make fun of him and stuff, and he's teased at school, and so he gets this doll, and, you know, he makes this, like, he has this, like, doll statue in his room, and he just enjoys, like, dolls and stuff, and his dad doesn't like that. His dad's, like, a mechanic or something, and he's like, you're, like, gay, and I don't like that you're gay, and so it's very, uh, it's very poignant in the very beginning of the show that, like, this kid is not liked by his dad, and Chucky ends up using that against him. Well, he ends up using that to his advantage by, you know, befriending the kid, and it's just ridiculous because in all the in all in everything that Chucky's been in he's never like necessarily made friends with anyone minus Jennifer Tilly who does come back into this but it's like you know uh or Tiffany Valentine it's just it's ridiculous that he's actually able to convince a kid to kill because he's getting bullied and because he's gay it's like come on man what I know that like since Don came back to write the show it's like come on bro like you've never really dived into this like I said that though then having the kid I guess if you want to bring like the whole weird trans element into it that would have been better to put Chucky into female dolls but you know because you know his son him and uh, J J uh Jennifer Tilly's son you know they didn't have it, it, it didn't know what it was and shit and so it's like you know that would have made sense but he literally just convinces this kid to kill because he's gay and then he ends up convincing the other guy the other other kid to kill because he kills his mom and like gets his dad to think he's you know, it gets him to gets him to realize that his dad's an asshole. It's just crazy that Chucky is able to do that. You know, in Cult of Chucky, when he split his soul, of course you're like, all right, well, there's somehow multiple Chucky's everywhere. So in this world of Chucky, he is reigning supreme right now. So, but I so I would assume that 
fine, he can go kill multiple people and he's in multiple families, but it's like, man, he actually convinces people to kill each other and it's like their kids and it's just like, I don't know, I, I don't, maybe if they were a little bit younger, like in elementary school, maybe, but I guess they'd be too afraid of him, but they'd be more accepting at least. I don't know. Like I've said in other videos, it's really mess. It's really a fine line to use kids because you can either make it be ridiculous or you can make it more realistic. And though they tried to make this more realistic, it was so, it was too much. Who the hell are you? Shit face. <laughs> um, but so uh, the second half of the season is when it just gets more entertaining and it just gets good. You know, uh, Jake's cousin, um, Junior Wheeler, ends up, you know, he, Jake ends up living with him and his family and Chucky terrorizes his family and gets Junior to kill his father using Chucky. It's a great scene. That's probably one of the greatest scenes in the show. And that is somehow able to awaken the other spirits, the other, you know, souls of Chucky in the other dolls super random like but you know that's just what the sh that was what made the plot go forward but it was what i enjoyed of it and then you find out that you know andy barkley comes back you know he breaks out of his mental mental institution and he's gonna come back and kill chucky so you're like fuck yeah and then you know nika pierce and jennifer tilly you know tiffany valentine come back and they've been together and you're like what's going on with them and you know chucky's living like a split personality inside of nika pierce and that's that's a cool interesting dynamic that they only play with a little bit and it's just kind of like back and forth of oh blood makes her turn into chucky and turn back into herself but then she kind of slits some guy's throat right after and she doesn't transform and it's like when exactly is it the blood like you know it's just, it just was kind of weird but i wish that the show would have focused more on them instead of like everything else because then it t devolves into jake being fully gay and like falls in love with this kid devin and the only reason devin's a part of the whole show is because his mom's a cop and she's the one following the the murders and like so he's obviously Obviously hearing more about the murders and it's just like oh my god and she's bringing him closer to jake wheeler and it's like oh my god like it's it was ridiculous and you know i'm not saying that their relationship was bad i'm happy for devin you know he's my boy devin was <laughs> devin's my boy and he got kidnapped and he was able to be rescued so you know you go devin you were the black kid you were the black boy that survived you go boy and now you got yourself a boyfriend so you you do you boy at the end of the show, I, I was definitely intrigued because he throws his soul into like a hundred good guy dolls and they're supposed to like ship them out as like helping kids with cancer or some shit, some fundraiser. And so you're like, oh damn, like all these Chuckies are going to be set loose. And then Andy Barkley is able to get a hold of the truck, right? So he gets a hold of the truck with all the Chuckies in it and like, you know, gets away. And then it turns out that uh, Tiffany Valentine's doll version of herself, her little leather rockabilly doll version of herself is still alive. So you're like, what the shit? So, you know, they already got greenlit for a second season. So I am excited to see what happens in the second season because I'm a fan of Chucky. And like I said, even though it kind of went downhill and it just kind of got ridiculous, it's like, well, I guess they might as well wallow in its ridiculousness and just keep on going. Like I said, the only thing was the whole gay aspect with Jake Wheeler was just so random, so unnecessary. Him and Devin having their first kiss, so unnecessary. It was just like, fine, I get it that you're trying to say that like the queers need to be here, but like, Chucky just convinced this kid to kill someone, right? Like, remember that, just remember that Jake Wheeler almost killed Lexi. He was going to be a killer, almost became a killer, then decided not to because of love, I'm assuming. So, but whatever. I'm a still fan of Chucky, and because it's, you know, because it's the month of love, we got to start off with some love. But as for the series in, in general, I hope it gets better, and I hope it, uh, you know, it's not as, like, campy kid gayness, because we already have Stranger Things, and that's, that's got all the kids we need, we don't need another gay kid, another kid show, but where they're all gay, okay, it's just not necessary, and, uh, as for Junior Wheeler, like I say, with his whole killing scene, I will say that if they end up re rebooting or redoing any movies in the future, they should definitely redo American Psycho, and put that scene, put, I mean, put that kid as the actor in American Psycho, whether you make him, like, a young version, or, like, a teen version, or, like, a young adult version before he becomes Christian Bale, it would be awesome, because this kid literally is the future Patrick Bateman, just an idea, just an idea but it would be pretty sick you know just throw on some Huey Lewis in the news and just go to town <laughs> but uh yeah have a great uh have a great one check out the Chucky TV series if you if you're interested if you're interested I suggest you check it out because it is it is fairly cool I mean he comes back at the end of the series at the end and he like does this little reprisal I was like oh I killed 21 people and it's like good for you Chucky 
good for you. <laughs> Tip to be a square. <laughs>